Hey folks, Jarek here, welcome to Amber Escape. I am on three days holidays at the beach of the Baltic Sea in Latvia, but because I have this sort of mental disorder, I have to check beaches for fossil spheres, so let's go check it out, because otherwise I won't be able to rest in peace. Let's go. Okay, it looks like on the beaches are mostly small rocks, so the most, what can, can be expected in this trip is basically some uh, beach polished corals mostly, and uh, if we find anything else that's gonna be luck, so let's start. Waves are quite calm, so let's start from the rocks on the very uh, edge of the sea, because uh, wet coral is gonna be visible a lot better. <laughs> Cheers! Well, you see this chain coral, tablet coral from the Ordovician period. Over 400 million years, very beach polish, but it's very nice specimen. Beautiful! And yeah, let's find more stuff. Second beauty, Sartinola, also tabulated coral from the same period, looks very different. Nice beach candy. And I want more. When the water is moving, it's not easy to spot stuff. Oh. What is this? Is this a sea glass? Wowzers, look gem quality, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of sea glass, but this one I will take. Sweet. What do we have here? Looks like Favacitas genus, also tablet coral. So far we have trifecta of corals. Whoa. I think this one is also one more, but this one is very badly uh, polished by the sea. Let's get it wet and see if it's a coral or not. Structure will be better visible. Yes, indeed. And few more corals. Yeah, the chain corals are absolutely gorgeous. Two Favositas corals, and this one is a uh, Syringipora. So we have quadruple different species of corals. And yeah, I, I really hope we will find something, something else besides the corals. Corals are cool and everything, but I want some diversity, you know? Only corals is getting a bit boring. I was sifting through the smallest pebbles and this one came out. To be honest, looks like just like a rock, but I saw some Ordovician sponges that looks just like this one with holes everywhere and it has this nice coloration. Luckily, I know a Ordovician sponge expert from Poland which did open his own Ordovician sponge museum, so we'll text him really fast and we'll see if this is anything or just a rock and I can throw it away. Surprise, surprise! Turned out it is indeed a Ordovician sponge called Correspondia globosa. And yeah, it, he said that it's very nice uh, specimen and I should keep it for sure. So, 
What I wanna do now, because this is my first or division sponge, I wanna find more of them. And what I need to do is basically cali recalibrate my sight on round small objects, because uh, I'm seeing mostly corals right now. So yeah, let's start a little bit change in the brain to recalibrate it. A recalibration complete. I found a bunch of round pebbles. Which are not sponges, but yeah, as you see now, I'm looking for round stuff and I picked all of this. Hopefully a sponge will get into my hands soon. Yeah, so let's get some sponges. It happened. I found another one. Pretty sure it's also called Spongia Globosa. Looks just like it, just a little bit different color. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it's broken, but on the bright side, we can see the insides of this sponge. <laughs> Almost missed it. There is one more fossil in here. Oh, it's a horn coral. Quite eroded, but it looks quite neat. No way. <laughs> Another small fossil. One more chain coral, Halicites. This one wasn't on the beach for too long. I mean, it wasn't in contact with the waves because it's less polished. Sweet. Another mushroom cap got into my eyesight. Is it just a rock? Is it? No, it's not. Is it a sponge though? Could be. Oh yeah. I think it's a bryozoan, but I'm not sure on the species. Most likely also the vision, so if someone knows, you can le le let me know in the comment section. But th this one is neat. This one tried to hide from me. Nice structure. Ooh, very articulated. This one is also Briozoan, and I believe this one is called Diplotripa, a colonial Briozoan. Too bad it's uh, broken, but I have few complete specimens at home. Either way, this one looks kind of cool. Look at this, it's a face, a skull. Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> that was Pareloidia much. He's seeing faces everywhere in the rocks. Nothing unusual. Yeah. I'm running out of time. My holidays are starting soon and I will get wrecked by my wife if I won't come back soon. So we need to finish it up. And, but I, all, I really want to find something else in here. I think I found something freaking amazing. Yeah, it looks just like a rock. I have no idea what I, why I even tried to take it. I believe this is a bone. Yeah, this is for sure a bone. Very interesting structure. Yeah, just a broken piece of bone, but it's fully fossilized. I did try to knock it. You hear the sound? Rock sounds. It's fully fossilized bone. I haven't found uh, bones like ever before, so this could be big. And already got it identified. Indeed, it is a bone. Thank you so much for everyone with the identifications. This is the Polish boys, my paleo experts, for trying, for helping me to identify stuff. And this bone is, is, is something very special and quite rare. It belongs to a armored fish from the Ordovician period called Plocodermi. And if we, it got identified by the structure of the bone itself. And if you try to look in the internet for placodermy bones, there is not much uh, search results. That's because it's quite rare. So basically we have something amazing in our hands and this is probably the best find uh, of this trip alone and maybe even my career. So that's huge. I was looking in the same area for a little bit longer and I found another piece of bone. This is also Plocodermi. And yeah, bad looking well, this is this coral, but now we have two pieces of bone of this armored fish. This one is even more broken, even less complete, but still cool. And finally, I think we have one more sponge. 
still don't know the species, trying to identify it. Looks very bizarre, nice coloration. This is the root. Very cool, I love it. Some circular patterns in here. I don't have many Ordovician sponges, in total now I have three and uh, two complete ones and one not. Also, I found a lot more corals. Uh, chain corals, Favicitas corals, this one is also Diplotripa, but uh, very seaborn. Uh, another some sort of sponge. Yeah, a lot of corals in here. Hello, is this a gastropod? Oh my god, this is adorable. Almost complete, what the hell? Yeah, I did lick it a bit. Interesting color though, like amber. Amber gastropod, look at that. Nuts. Looks like we got another snail. You see it? Yeah, it's fully encased in this rock. Still kind of cool. Yeah, prepping is impossible. This is uh, sandstone. Yeah, it's not chipping away. It will get destroyed if I prep it. But maybe I will take this one as well. It's kind of kind of cool. I think this is it. We found quite a diversity of fossils, mostly corals, some bryozoans, some sponges, and some snails, and some bones from the placoderma fish. That was huge. Really happy with the bones, and yeah. I hope you did enjoy this video from my holidays. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and see you next time. Bye!